we are. Hey, what's up, you guys? Always too close to the damn camera. You've got Daniela with Adventures in Consciousness, and welcome back to another plus size belly dance, sacred dance, divine movement tutorial. Today, we are going to be going over another one of my favorite moves is that of the chest circle. Let me see. I just did, uh, I just did neck rolls, so I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little of a neck roll kind of mood. <laughs> is uh, your chest circles, right, and your hip circles. So if those have been playing you, figuring out how on earth to get your muscles to do that, this is gonna be the video for you. So I am also assuming that you have done a little bit of stretching. Um, if you haven't, you can check out the stretch yoga video right up here that we have for you, or um, do a little bit of dance stretching if you need a little bit of inspiration for that. Got that for you right here too. So, assuming that you've gotten all of that out of the way, we're going to be playing with our circles. So, there are several different kinds of circles depending on which area of the body that you're working on. Uh, hold on one sec. Let me bump this up. There we go. Get some light on this beautiful face of mine. Okay. So, <laughs> so depending on which area of the body, again, sorry, get a little distracted. Depending on which area of the body that you're working on, um, there are a couple of different options. So working down here with the hips, you've got your big, nice, big old, big old, yeah. mm. yes, right? Your big old hip circles. You've also got your more almost Polynesian style, right? Right, almost looks like a shimmy. Um, it is almost the style of shimmy. Uh, hip circle. When you're working with your chest, you have a uh, horizontal, right? Which is going like this. Or you've got a vertical, right? Which is like your ladies with a pencil, drawing circle, <laughs> right? So those are the uh, variations that we'll be going over today. Let me go pump up the music and we'll get started. Before we get started, I don't own any of this music. This is wonderful music. If you want to check out what it is, if you want to know, drop it in the comments below. You can also check out my Spotify playlist, which all of these songs from all of these tutorials are on. Uh, and that's Daniela's Starseed Belly Dance um, on Spotify. So if you want to check that out. This is a great one. Let me go ahead. Of course, the heater just kicked on. The heater just kicked on, so we got a nice little grind going on in the background there. So for our hip circles, we are going to start in our belly dance position. Feet hip width apart, get that nice bend in the knees, a little bit of a lift here in your hips, chest up, shoulders back, neck long. Looking all beautiful, as always, ladies. So working here, we'll start with the big one and we'll work our way to the small one. The big one, again, is more skeletal and can be easier to start with. And then uh, the smaller one is more muscular and is dealing with your lower back muscles as well as your obliques and your stomach all in here, your upper and lower stomach. So with the large circles, definitely wanna make sure that you've got a well solid foundation in your feet. If you have trouble with losing your balance and things like that, you may wanna check out the video above which has to do with weight distribution, um, weight balance, and practicing things on one leg. So you may just wanna check that out and play around with that if that is something, um, if balance is something that you find you have a little issue with. Because this one can definitely throw you out of balance. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start, hear the music, right? And just stretch it out. Just gonna go from side to side, lengthening that torso, all right, ladies? Stretch it on out. Play with that weight distribution. And when you're ready, we're gonna bring it around. Just lean over. Just lean over. Gently lean back. Gently. Gently. Don't go cranking all the way back, okay? That's another tutorial. 
And if you don't know how to do it right, you can really fuck yourself up. So please don't do that. So we're gonna gently lean forward, all right, with our hips. We're gonna, right? <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> right, so we're just gonna gently lean forward and we're gonna lead around. So pick a hip and draw a big old circle with it, all right? So you just got two, two circles going on here, right? Take it nice and wide. Other direction. And this is your basic hip circle. This is your large hip circle right here, ladies. You can do it nice and slow. Or you can whip it around. Right? Right? And you want to make sure you have that solid foundation or you'll be like, <laughs> All right. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Lots of years of tilting to the side. So that is as hard as that is. This is a great um, exercise in and of itself, a great stretch in and of itself, which you may have seen on the dance stretch video. It's just to lean over and to gently let those hips sway from side to side. I'll do this on the counter. Right, get that lower back. Cause I know ladies, if you got any hips, right? If you got them, you got something heavy up front, all of this, right? All of this. Shot. Am I right? This is a great exercise for that. You can just lean yourself right there on the counter and you just go, oh yeah, and just go from side to side. And you'll feel it all down this side of your leg, all the way down, like all the way down, right? So play with that stretch. The more you can stretch this out, right? And it's okay if you move the rest of your body to begin with, okay? We're not trying to be super technical. Though, of course, the only technical you need to remember is just so you don't injure yourself. All right, that's what that belly dance posture is for. All right, so that is your big hip circle. That's as simple as it can be. I'm gonna crank that back again, right? So for our small hip circle, we're gonna be working with our muscles inside of our tummy uh, along our sides here and in our lower back. This is a much smaller move. It can be accentuated with speed and weight distribution, um, but it is essentially a uh, simple move. It is several moves combined, and we'll go through that right here. So initially what you're gonna wanna play with is your hip bumps. And you're gonna to wanna to play with the oblique ones in particular, where you are um, contracting that oblique muscle, where you're not driving it from your hips, or excuse me, from your knees. You're driving it from right here, okay? So this is gonna be number one. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you can do this. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you can do your front hip lift. <laughs> which is literally just an accentuated version of how you pull up your tummy here for your belly dance position. It's just this, and letting it drop, all right? So practice this, and again, it's a contraction of the muscles in the front and a release. Contract, release. You wanna make sure that you are not clenching your butt. Don't clench your butt, ever, ever in belly dance, ever. You wanna let that shit go. You wanna let it flow. You wanna let it jiggle. All right, that's what it's there for. So if you are accidentally clenching, if you find you're clenching your butt, you're like, whoop, right? Give her a little smack, Rudy. <laughs> and a uh, reminder to just relax. It's okay, it's okay. Just give her a nice little pat. You're like, all right, calm down. All right, calm down. <laughs> it's funny how we have to talk to our bodies sometimes, right? So once you've got all of these things, right? you can bring them into a hip circle. And essentially, it is just combining the different moves in a smooth motion. So we start in the front, and then head that way. Front, lift, drop, lift, front. Lift, drop, lift, lift. All right? And of course, it looks boxy now. That's okay. You have the 
side. Drop. Lift. Lift. Drop. Lift. Lift. All right. So then we're going to smooth out. Lift. 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 Boom. 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 Smooth it out. You might shudder a little bit. I haven't done this one in a while. As you can see, my muscles, right? They're like, oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? We haven't done this one in a minute. What's going on? What's going on? And that's perfectly okay as you begin to practice. We're going to go in the other direction. So lift, right? And doing it slow is actually more of a test of your strength and endurance than doing it fast. So if you want to take it up, just take it up. A little faster and faster. Okay? That's how you work in your hips. So now we're going to go over how you work that chest. Okay? So. Again, your belly dance position, locked in here, lifted back. I want to make sure this is all nice and free. It is essentially the same principle as with the smaller of the hip circles, where you've got your chest lift, slide, drop, slide, lift, slide, drop, slide. Okay? So if you haven't checked that out, chest slides, lifts right here for you okay but those are the basic moves that you're going to need to do this so you can combine them and make them smooth into one <laughs> and pose <laughs> <Get ears. laughs> gotta do it you guys you gotta do it i'm really this goofy in real life so what you see is what you get enjoy <laughs> okay so we're gonna work on the same thing okay with the chest right so listen for the music Lift, slide, drop, slide, lift, slide, drop, slide. Right? Lift, other side, slide, drop, slide, lift, slide, drop, slide, lift, slide, drop, slide. Okay? And then all you do is smooth that out. Take it slow. It may take a minute for your muscles to realize what you're asking of them. Again, this is all relatively natural movement, but we never move our bodies in this manner anymore. So we have the capacity, but we haven't had the practice. So practice this one again while you're just sitting there watching TV. Just, you know, kind of, you. this is one of the best ones actually. I don't condone this, this is not a good idea, but if you were to potentially practice this, great place to do it is at a stop sign. <laughs> I do not condone doing any of this while you are driving, <laughs> but <laughs> um, at a stop sign or a stoplight is actually a great place to practice your chest work or your hands, because um, you're just sitting there, you're like, do do do. <laughs> you know, instead of checking your phone and being super dangerous, keep your eyes on the road and practice your chest. Move it out. So, hands on the hips uh, helps me keep all this lower stuff from moving around. Also, practicing in a mirror or in a video, videoing yourself is also a great idea. All right? So, we're going to smooth it out. Down, slide, lift. Slide, down, slide, lift. On the other side, slide, drop, slide, lift. And this is your horizontal circle, okay? And you could do it all exaggerated, you know, get into it if you want to. All up to choice. Just be careful. Don't crank that lower back. Love note from me to you. So, the... Get it out. The uh, vertical chest circles are very similar again. It's gonna be like you're drawing. I know it's gonna be obscene, but boom. 
right? So you're drawing circles, right? You get the two pencils. I know it's weird. This worked really great in dance class for a lot of the girls, <laughs> right? So that's what you're doing, all right? So you're doing the same thing, but it's a different emphasis. So instead of going this way with it, you're going this way. Right? All right. So that is as easy as they can be. What is going on with this music? Oh, oh you're there. <laughs> I don't even know it was on the dang playlist sometimes. Um, or shall I say, I forgot what I added to it. So that is your hip circles, your two bottom hip circles, and your two chest circles. Um, a great way to incorporate those chakra energies into your divine sacred dance and movement. Get a lot of those um, stuck energies out because those are centers, your chest here, um, and of course your solar, sacral, and root that do carry and tend to hold on a lot of S-H-I-T, um, if you know what I mean. So, a uh, great way to relax a lot of that stuff, I'll let it flow, open up those energy centers. Also a great way too, to get the uh, belly and a lot of bet better gut health uh, by contracting and releasing the muscles around those organs. You're actually working um, and moving them around gently um, as opposed to allowing them to stay stagnant. Um, you're, you know, moving them around and getting all that jet out of there. And <laughs> as, as gross as that sounds, it's actually really, it's a benefit. So those are your hip circles. Those are your chest circles. Um, hopefully that helped you guys. Uh, let me know if there's any other way that uh, you need me to break that down for you. If there's any other thing uh, that you would like to see that would be helpful to break down for you for your sacred dance uh, practice. Drop it in the comments below if you want to see anything in particular. And I just love, from hearing, love hearing from you guys in general. I can talk, as always. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so drop it in the comments below if you want to see anything. Um, thank you again for checking me out and checking me out. Thanks for checking me out. Um, <laughs> thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, like, share, and subscribe as always. Thank you for your support. I love you guys, and I will see you next time.